use two pieces of scrap pine that I have to show you these two different techniques. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of my homemade chalk paint on each board. I find that both of these techniques work better on a chalk painted surface. You can use both of these techniques on plain wood and under acrylic paint, but I find the chalk paint works the best. You can also use any color, but I find using a lighter color for the base works the best for your graphics or your photos to show through. If you use a darker color, when you put the graphic or the photo on top, it will not pop out as much. I've printed out my graphics on my LaserJet printer on plain computer paper. Make sure you remember to reverse your text. Both of these products work really well with a LaserJet printer. The transfer method with the Mod Podge will work with an inkjet printer, but the polyacrylic transfer will not work well with an inkjet printer. I'm using a Verithane polyacrylic water base. You have to make sure you're using the water base, not the oil base, and the Mod Podge in the matte finish. And we're ready to put the graphics on the wood. This graphic is available in my Etsy store, and if you use the code SAVE50, you can get 50% off and it's already reversed. With the Mod Podge method, I'd like to put the Mod Podge right on the paper, and you're just going to apply a liberal amount over the whole graphic. You can use the Mod Podge gloss too, but when you rub the paper off, you have to remember that you're going to have a glossy surface underneath instead of just a matte finish that might blend into your wood better. Okay, and now you're just going to flip over your graphic, make sure it's centered right where you want it on your wood, and then you're going to press it down and get rid of any wrinkles and, or bubbles. And now we're going to do the polyacrylic method. Now with this method, I like to put it on the wood, not onto the paper. So you're just going to put a liberal amount over the whole piece of wood, and make sure you have it so you have enough polyacrylic so when you place the paper on it, it's going to soak into the paper. Now we're ready to put the graphic on. Just flip it over, make sure it's centered exactly where you want it, and press it firmly so it will soak up all that polyacrylic. Just take your fingers and just press all the bubbles and all the wrinkles out. Now you have to let them both dry completely. The Mod Podge will have to dry overnight. The polyacrylic dries quite fast, so probably in a couple hours it will be ready. Okay, it's been a couple hours and the polyacrylic is completely dry, so I'm gonna just take a damp rag and dampen the paper just so you can start to see the graphics show through, and then you're gonna rub away all of the paper. I find with this polyacrylic technique, the paper rubs away a little bit harder than with the Mod Podge, but it does rub off and leave a really nice crisp black lettering. A big tip when doing both of these techniques is to make sure not to put on too much water. If you put on too much water, it will soak through and you might have a tendency to rub off the graphics or your photo. You can always go back and add a little bit more water if you need to, if it dries out and you haven't finished rubbing off all of the paper. Okay, now the Mod Podge is sat overnight and I'm going to just take a damp rag and again wet the whole paper until you can start to see the graphics show through and then rub away. I always like to start in the center when I'm rubbing away the paper. I find rubbing the paper off on the Mod Podge actually is a little bit easier than the polyacrylic. You don't have to scrub away at it too much. Um, but I do find that the lettering is more has more of a tendency to lift off with the Mod Podge than the polyacrylic. Also, if you add too much water onto this method, it will lift the lettering off a lot easier than the polyacrylic method did.
So here is the end result, the polyacrylic and the Mod Podge. I actually don't see too much of a difference between the two. They both were very easy to work with. They both transferred really well and have nice crisp black lettering. So I think my opinion is you can use either and have really nice transfers for your signs. Now that these are both finished, I like to put my top coat on. I like to use a polyacrylic as a top coat on both of these methods. You can use the Mod Podge as a top coat on that, either your gloss finish or your matte finish. Um, but I like to have the durability of the polyacrylic on the signs. It just gives it a nice smooth finish where I find sometimes the Mod Podge can make it look a little bit cloudy where the polyacrylic won't. It'll give it a nice clean, crisp um, top coat. Also, if you find sometimes you have a little bit of a cloudy spot where you haven't been able to rub off all the paper, when you seal it with the polyacrylic, it gets rid of that little bit of cloudiness where I find the Mod Podge doesn't do that as well. So try both techniques out, see what works for you and have fun with it. I hope today's tutorial has helped you out and answered some of your questions between the difference of polyacrylic transfers and Mod Podge transfers. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.